the office. But friends, they're your wins. And they're significant wins. I've learned this. The more that you thank God, the more that he'll release strength, the more he'll release healing, the more he'll release favor, and the more he'll release breakthrough in your life. If you'll celebrate the progress, oh church, I believe God is going to finish what he started in your life. I decree and declare he's going to break bad addictions. He is going to break every negative thing off of your life. You're going to accomplish your dreams and you're going to become everything he has designed and created you to be. If you believe that, yeah. church, can you say amen? You're changing us. You're transforming us. And I just say, Jesus, do your work. <laughs> do your work in a way that only you can. Grace us and transform us from the inside out. We know we're not a finished product, but we are grateful for what good you have done. You're the author and you're the finisher. Thank you that you're working on our impatience. Thank you that you're working on our pride. Thank you that you are working on our addictions. Thank you that you, Jesus, are doing the powerful work only you can do to shape and transform us. Help us to enjoy the season we're in, recognizing that you have us where we are for a reason and you are preparing us for what's ahead because of our faith in you and the fact that you hold the plan of our life in your hand we can enjoy the process today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Just keeping this atmosphere of faith, I just want to ask a, a big question. Maybe you're here for the first time, maybe you're watching online for the first time, and in all honesty, you've never truly asked Jesus into your life to be your personal Lord and Savior. I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about a relationship with Jesus. You see, we can go through even church motions and we can try to find peace in a lot of areas in our life. Relationally, drugs, alcohol, people, things. We can try a lot of things to find internal peace, but I can promise you, only Jesus can fill the places in your life. Only God can give you the peace that you search after in many different ways. So today, here's the good news. You can come home to Jesus. You can come home to peace whether you're here or you're watching online. In a few moments, I'm gonna ask you to do something bold. It's gonna to be to simply stand, but in that moment, it's your desire to receive Jesus into your heart, to forgive you of all your mistakes, all of your sins, to step into his purposes for your life. You know, God's got a purpose for your life. It's not a mistake. You're hearing this at this moment, but God has a plan for you. You maybe have tried it your way, I tried it my way for 18 years, and I came to an atmosphere just like this, and God changed my life forever. So I'm talking to the other Nicks in the room who are watching online. If you want to come home to Jesus today, or you want to rededicate your heart to him and step into the powerful plan that he has for your life, right now I want you to take a bold step and stand your feet, and we're going to celebrate you as you make a desired commitment to follow Jesus. Come on, keep our standing. Resource is going to help you in your relationship with God in these next few steps. Also, we have a team of individuals out on the second floor. Stop by the lobby area if you can. They'd like to encourage you, answer questions you have, help you get plugged into classes if you'd like. But I want you to repeat this simple prayer of faith after me if you're standing or if you're watching online. And if you want to make Jesus the Lord of your life, repeat after me. Everyone else, let's repeat it as if it was our first time. Say, Jesus, Jesus. I come before you today. And I ask you to forgive me of all my sins and all my mistakes. Come into my life. Come into my heart and wash me clean. Today I choose to make you my Lord and my Savior. I want to live my life for you and only you. In Jesus' name. Amen.
church, can we celebrate all of you? every week. Give a year of your life to following Jesus and planting in this house. And a year from now, you'll see your life will be forever better because you did so. Can anyone else testify to that? Yeah. Give a year of your life to Jesus. It will be forever changed. Amen? Home, you sit up. The Bible said all your sins are washed away. What a fantastic promise. Amen? Can we all stand and join them? We love you. We're grateful that you came today. Are you leaving encouraged? Looking to enjoy the process. Let me leave you with a blessing from Numbers chapter 6. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord show you his favor and have mercy on you. And may the Lord watch over you and give you his peace.